Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're talking all about how to fade dark marks or how to fade hyperpigmentation. This has been such a highly requested video for obvious reasons. A lot of us experience hyperpigmentation, whether it be from acne or from sun damage, and so it's a really hot topic right now, and I'm more than happy to address it. So basically, hyperpigmentation occurs when your cells are stressed out. Specifically, melanin is overexpressed when cells are stressed, and so cellular stress can look anything like UV damage, sun damage, acne, irritation, and inflammation. All of those things can contribute to hyperpigmentation. So if you want to fade dark marks, you somehow need to stop the production of hyperpigmentation in your skin, and that's done by preventing melanogenesis. Melanogenesis is the process of producing melanin. So in addition to stopping the melanogenesis or production of melanin, you also need to somehow stop the transport of melanin from the bottom skin cell layers to the top skin cell layers that are visible to our eyes. That is how you lighten dark marks. And so that's why it's called a skin lightening agent and not a brightening agent. And so also I wanted to mention that skin lightening has nothing to do with killing the skin cells that produce melanin. That is skin bleaching, which I am not a fan of and I will not advocate for on this channel. So let's start with a little bit of biochemistry background. So tyrosine is an amino acid that's responsible as the first building block to producing melanin. Melanin is the pigment that naturally occurs in our skin and our hair and our nails. And basically it's responsible for the color that we have. So you start with tyrosine and you end up with melanin. And in between tyrosine and melanin is a whole cascade of reactions. If you want me to make a video all about that process, give this video a thumbs up and I'd be more than happy to film that for you. But for now, we're just gonna settle for this kind of a basic approach of tyrosine goes to melanin. But tyrosine can't just go to melanin. It's physically impossible. You have to have some sort of enzyme in order to catalyze that reaction to get the reaction started. And that enzyme is called tyrosinase. Any sort of like ACE ending generally means an enzyme. So tyrosinase and tyrosine bind together to begin the reaction to form melanin. Tyrosinase is an enzyme and like all enzymes, they have active sites. Active site is basically just an area on the enzyme where the substrate, AKA tyrosine, can bind to. Enzymes are highly specific, which means that their active sites are really specifically tailored to fit exactly its substrate. So if you just were to guess right now how a skin lightening agent works, it's probably gonna mess with the active site of tyrosinase. And so that's exactly what our first ingredient does, vitamin C. What vitamin C does is it actually interferes with the copper ions found in the tyrosinase active site and therefore tyrosine can't bind to tyrosinase because the chemistry is all wrong. And so because tyrosine can't bind to tyrosinase, the reaction cannot proceed and melanin can't be produced. So that's how vitamin C fades dark marks. The product that I have to recommend to you is the Ordinary's Vitamin C Suspension 23% and Hyaluronic Acid Spheres 2%. What's really unique about this is that it's actually a water-free suspension, which means that it's not gonna oxidize as quickly. I have talked over and over again about the Paulus Choice Vitamin C Serum, about how I love that one because it's so, so powerful, but I hate it because it oxidizes way too quickly. This hasn't oxidized yet, and I've had it since last summer, I think. And so, yeah, this is a great vitamin C serum that I personally use. The texture is a little bit something to get used to because it has kind of like a grainy texture to it. But if that doesn't bother you, this might be a great fit for you. The next ingredient is arbutin. And arbutin also messes with the active site of tyrosinase. But instead of interfering with the copper ions in tyrosinase, what it does is it actually binds to tyrosinase. If I were to have an analogy with people, it would look a little bit something like this. Pretend I'm tyrosinase, the enzyme, and my active site are my arms. And I'm trying to hug people. Specifically, I want to hug tyrosinase because I want to start the reaction to produce melanin. But instead, this guy named Arbutin walks by and Arbutin looks a lot like tyrosine and I get confused and I'm like, okay, I think that's tyrosine, I'm gonna hug him now. So I'm hugging Arbutin and we're hugging and meanwhile, tyrosine walks by and tyrosine is like, huh, I thought I was supposed to bind to that. Guess not, and walks away. So now instead of me hugging tyrosine, I'm hugging arbutin and the reaction to produce melanin can't occur. So I hope that analogy kind of makes sense, but that's basically what's happening. Tyrosinase gets confused because arbutin looks a lot like tyrosine. And so instead of binding to tyrosine, which is meant to bind to, it binds to arbutin. If you wanna learn more about this concept, it's called competitive inhibition. So if you just Google that, you'll get some great resources to learn more about it. And so the product that I have to recommend to you is again from The Ordinary, which has been rocking my world lately. 
lately. Um, this is their Alpha Arbutin 2% plus Hyaluronic Acid. This is a great Arbutin serum if you're looking for something really cheap. Um, yeah, you can't go wrong with this one. The next ingredient is Boswellic Acid, and you guessed it, it also inhibits the tyrosinase activity. This is actually an ingredient that's really cool because I'm guaranteeing you probably haven't heard about it. In fact, I hadn't heard about it. Basically, it's a great treatment for photo age skin. On the screen right now, I'll put a study that shows how Boswellic Acid helps to improve texture, fine lines, wrinkles, and also hyperpigmentation. And so you can read it right now. I'll wait for you to read it. But the overall takeaway here is that boswellic acid may represent a suitable treatment option for selected features of skin photo aging. And I've also read studies that say that boswellic acid really helps with psoriasis, so maybe it's something you're interested in. So the boswellic acid product that I have to recommend to you is the Vis Viva Retinol and Frankincense Restorative Oil Serum. Oh my god, this serum literally works overnight miracles. I know I'm being kind of dramatic, but I've never seen a serum do quite what the Paula's Choice Vitamin C Serum does. But the great thing is that this doesn't oxidize and this doesn't break down as rapidly as the Paula's Choice one. I've had this for about, oh my gosh, three or two months now, and I've been using it every single week, and I've noticed a dramatic improvement in hyperpigmentation on my face arising from acne. You know that I wear SPF religiously, and so I don't really get sunspots, but what I do get is dark marks from acne, and I've noticed that this really, really helps the dark marks fade very, very quickly. In fact, overnight, I can dramatically see results. Of course, the dark mark isn't completely gone, but it's reduced dramatically. So the boswellic acid in this comes from frankincense, and specifically, I think it's Indian frankincense extract, which is really cool. Frankincense is an essential oil, and so it has its drawbacks, but also has really great benefits because it does have that boswellic acid in it. The drawback I'm referring to is, of course, limonene, which is a fragrance compound. And so if you're really, really sensitive to limonene, maybe don't use this product, but I do have to say that the concentration of limonene in the product is actually a hundredth of a percent. It's 0.016% limonene, um, which is a really 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 low concentration but I did want to mention that in case you have extremely sensitive skin maybe are on the side of caution maybe only use this as a spot treatment as opposed to all over your face so in addition to boswellic acid, it also has retinol palmitate, and retinol palmitate is just a phenomenal ingredient. I'll put some information about it in the info box down below if you wanna read more about retinol palmitate. But basically, this is just an amazing blend of really great restoring oils, hence the name restorative oil serum. It also really helps with treating hyperpigmentation because of the boswellic acid. Now I do have to say, this serum is more expensive than some of the other options that I'm talking about in this video. But to kind of counterbalance that, the company Visiva it has been so so sweet to offer a discount code to you guys which is kaya20 which gets you 20% off which if you're from the u.s basically covers shipping a great customer service i really recommend trying this out because boswellic acid is really underrated and also the serum is really really cool like i don't know if you can tell but it's kind of like a maroon color in the bottle but actually the serum is a pink color a little bit goes a very long way with the serum so you definitely do get your money's worth and honestly just the dramatic improvement that you're gonna see in your hyperpigmentation I think speaks for itself. All right, the sun is setting, so I gotta move fast. The last ingredient I have to talk about is niacinamide, which actually doesn't inhibit tyrosinase. Instead, what it does is it inhibits a specific organelle inside of melanocytes, which is the cells that produce melanin. It prevents the transfer of melanin to keratinocytes, which are the cells on the outermost layer of your skin. And essentially, that's how it fades dark marks. Instead of preventing melanin production, it prevents melanin from moving from your bottom skin cell layer to your top skin cell layer. I personally have not tried niacinamide cinnamide but I wanted to mention it in this video because it wouldn't be a skin lightening agent video without talking about niacinamide so just throwing that out there I personally haven't tried this product but I am dying to try this product this is the ordinary niacinamide 10% and zinc 1% it's still in the bottle because I haven't tried it yet but I'm definitely looking to incorporate it into my skincare routine very soon niacinamide has a ton of other benefits too I'll put that in the info box as well I'm trying to shorten this video now because the sun is definitely setting but anyway, that is the end of my video. Thank you all so much for watching and spending this time with me. I hope you learned something new. If you want to see a dedicated video all about how hyperpigmentation occurs, the biochemistry behind it, how melanin is produced, please give this video a thumbs up and I'd be more than happy to film that for you. But until my next video, have a beautiful week and I'll see you then. Bye.